Today, we're gonna see who can upgrade the glorious Moto O wireless better. Jake's got one and I've got another. Let's get started. Hiya! I've never done this before. Hopefully I didn't break it. Let's just open this up. First, I have to take this apart. I can use a hairdryer to unstick these feet. I need a hairdryer. I've literally never upgraded a mouse before. First thing I gotta do is get a hairdryer. I just took the rubber feet off. I saw Betty in there too, which means that we're a little bit ahead of her. See if I can take this thing apart or not. I took out the plastic pieces, but there were only two screws and a lot of ribbon cables. And right now I'm in a bad conundrum because a plastic piece flew off and now I gotta go find it. I found it. It is so small. Knowing Jake, he's probably going to do something superhero-like, but I think I'm gonna go the anime route. For my theme, I think I'm gonna go for like Spider-Man, mainly because Spider-Man's awesome, but everyone knows that Tobey Maguire is the best. She really doesn't know what she's getting herself into. Like, I have this whole thing planned out in my head, and it's gonna turn out amazing. The winner of this competition gets a video of their making with unlimited budget. And the loser? Well, they gotta make me gluten-free cookies. And why is this a mouse, you may be wondering, and not a keyboard? Well, that's because I wanted to expand my horizons, to do something new, something challenging, and to expand, like bread, coming right out out of the oven. That was weird. Please tell me you like it or this will be awkward. This mouse is so flimsy and lightweight that I'm really scared that I might break some of these things just by trying to take it apart. In the end, I had to ask Jake for help and he basically did it all for me. So this is one of the hardest challenges we've ever done. It's got more electronics, it's got more parts. Not only that, but this is a competition. Tape is very important right now. Blue tape. Tape here, tape there. So Jake is just blue taping his mouse parts to skewers and then we're gonna go outside really soon. It looks super scuffed, but I did the same thing with my mouse parts too. How's it going? It's pretty good. I'm all ready to paint. I'm ready to paint too. I've got three steps. Primer, paint, and profit. What are you gonna profit from? Content. Oh. Uh, profit. Same. Let's uh, get ready to go outside. Have you seen my design yet? looks pretty good. Okay, let's go outside. All right, it's time to go outside. I've got primer because all of you guys told me that I need to primer everything to keep everything safe and sound. And white is always good. We ran out of white recently, so we actually bought three more cans of white. Jake's doing blue and he did in primer because he has a white mouse and he thought that would be good enough, but it's not. And you'll see later on why it wasn't. He's also got red because, well, Spider-Man is blue and red and white or is that America? Wait, why am I sanding things? Oh, it's because I dropped things. But I'm also using blue as the accent pieces for my mouse, the middle click and the side buttons. It's gonna look really cool and awesome. Mmm, satisfying. Okay, well the majority of my mouse is actually going to be yellow because Naruto has yellow hair. Wait, I'm missing a color. We still need orange somewhere, but that's gonna come real soon. Yellow is pretty fun to spray, and I've gotten a lot better at spray painting now that I've done it like a kabillion times, and all of the comments are like, maybe you should spray a little slower. Well, I think I did, and it looks pretty cool. There's a test keyboard on the floor, and that's how we test everything that we come up with. That thing's been through a lot of stuff. Finally, the orange appears. I learned how to do this while by watching YouTube videos about how to do a gradient with spray cans. And it looks pretty cool, like an orange, or a sunburst, or a star, or a shining sun. Well, it looks really cool. And this spray paint can was like $12 at Michael's. Much more expensive than the stuff we usually use. But orange is special, and not everybody can buy this kind of orange at the store. You gotta be 18 plus, like me. <laughs> I'm 18 plus. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good, and even though I had to spray all of the pieces separately, when I put them together, they're gonna be perfect. My mouse is finished, it's painted, and it turned out so cool. Look at all this. All I need to do is detail it with a marker, and I hope I don't mess it up. And then uh, I have a, a couple of other cool things I want to do too before I put it back together. 
but we'll see how it turns out. I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll be really cool. So here Jake is drawing spider webs on the back of his mouse, and he was telling me that it's pretty hard to draw these because the honeycombs kept getting in the way, and it was like... <laughs> this is Spider-Man's belly. No. This is what Spider-Man's suit looks like with the black webs on the red suit. So beautiful. Now Jake is clear coating everything to make sure it's all protected so your sweaty little hands and fingers won't mess up the mouse when it's actually in use for gaming! So I just clear coated it, now I'm going to apply some of this grip tape I bought. It's really cool and that should tie in perfectly with the design and I just can't wait to see how it finishes. Honestly, it looks so cool at this point, there's no way that uh, Betty can beat me. There's just, there's just no way. All the spray painting has been completed and I gotta say it looks super awesome. Now I need to add the Naruto elements to it's it. It's not really screaming Naruto now, is it? So I started by drawing the nine-tailed fox on one side and on the other side I drew the Leaf Village logo that's on Naruto's headband. And that ties it all together nicely. And here's all the parts. It's the next day today. I've got everything dried, everything has been clear coated, and I took a sneak peek at Jake's and I gotta say, it looks pretty dang good too. All I need to do now is put everything back together. It's all dry. I caught a glimpse of Betty's mouse and it looks pretty cool, so I'm actually a little worried now. But I think I, think I still have a chance to win this. Putting back together this mouse was ultra difficult. There were so many parts and because I did this over the span of a few days, I sort of forgot where everything went. But luckily the internet is here. So I put my mouse back together and I gotta say it looks really, really cool, but there's a problem, a really big problem. Is the left click is inconsistent. It's like a gamble. Sometimes you click and you get nothing. So. I'm gonna loosen that up over time just by doing this. But everything else works wonderfully. And you can even turn on RGB. Yeah. Ooh. Gotta put the feet back on and put on some grip tape. Got some navy blue and white and black grip tape here. How do I peel this? I was able to put it back together and it looks pretty cool, I gotta say but it definitely looks like a Spider-Man themed mouse. There's one more step I wanna do and that's to add some of this grip tape. I'm gonna set that up and then we'll keep going. We went to Academy this morning to buy this grip tape. Apparently it's for bats, to hold your bat nicely so it doesn't slip when you're hitting a home run. We cut out the outline and stuck it on. It is quite easy, although Jake seems to be having a little bit of difficulty, as you can see. I, however, had an easy time with my little child scissors. Okay, Jake did a pretty good job. It looks great, but for some reason, I'm reminded of another superhero when looking at this footage. I did mine slightly differently. I used blue tape to trace an outline of the clicky parts, and then I put it on the grip tape and cut it out slowly and meticulously with my bare hands. So beautiful. It looks so good! Here, check it out. Mm. I finally finished! And there's still some issues, but we're gonna see if it works. Time for the magical moment. It looks pretty good. I knew you would do it. Spider-Man! Okay, moment of truth. The two mice work for the most part. To decide the winner, we're gonna go to Micro Center, stand in the front, and ask random people which one they would rather get. Let's go out in public and humiliate ourselves publicly. I'm kind of excited though. I want to see who wins, cause, but I'm feeling pretty confident that I'll win. We're gonna let a total stranger decide who wins at Micro Center. Let's go! All right, we've got our first contestant here who will help us pick which mouse is the winner. Okay. We've got this one. You can sure. What are what are our criteria? What are we working with? With uh, beauty looks okay. primarily. We're going over the All look. right. Perfect. This one is Spider-Man themed. Okay. It's got grip tape on the sides. Nice. Red, nice. blue, nice. and blue clickies here. Got a couple macro buttons as well. Yeah. Nice. And this one is Naruto themed. <laughs> <laughs> with the leaf and okay. village and the cube on the side. All right. With his colors of orange, oh, yellow, and blue. Nice. 
All right. It's got a nice gradient shell yeah, to it. Yeah. All right. What are what are we thinking is the winner here? You know what? Uh, for the heck of it, I'll go with the, I'll go with the anime theme. Why All not? right. <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> One for me. There you go. All right. Well, Thank cool. you so much. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, Y'all have a good one. All right, you too. <laughs> if you want a chance to win one of these mice, the giveaway link is in the description. Read it carefully. And if you want to buy anything in this video, links are down below as well. And watch this video right here to see us upgrade something really cool.